welcome back to my channel. For the new faces that are here, my name is Emily Goubain. And for those of you who don't know, I'm a cosplayer. I'm also a costume designer. I also work for Cirque du Soleil. And today I'm here with my friend. Hey, my name is Eric Paredes. I'm a professional photographer. I've been doing cosplay photo shoots for over four years. So today we're gonna show you around the Palais, the main convention center from Montreal. Yes, we're going to be showcasing all the great locations, the most popular spots that are located around the Palais des Congrès. So for those of you who don't know, both Montreal Comic Con and Otakathon are held here. There are two biggest conventions and they are located in the best area because they're right in the middle of downtown with so many great spots around. So there's so many that we can't show everything today. So we're probably going to do a part two eventually. Mm -hmm. But we're going to show the most popular spots so you can have an idea of where to shoot once you come to Montreal Comic Con or Tokyo. So, ready to get started? Let's look to All the right. first location. Let's go! First location, um, I like to call them the pink tentacles, but they're more commonly known as the pink trees. The yeah. pros and cons about this area, even though right now it's quite calm and there's not a lot of people. During con season, this place is crowded. Yeah, so a lot of people use the space to chill and eat food and just relax because it's yeah. pretty hidden so people can just hide from people. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. And they're allowed to do so, so you can get a few people in the way and it can get pretty loud, which you can work around and you can ask people to move. We've done it before, so it's totally doable. Mm -hmm. um, other cons, I would say... The floor. The floor. Um, it doesn't so, really match the rest. There's also a big window, which has both pros and cons. So, so you get a lot of nice natural lighting, but you also get cars and people in the background. Yeah, then, yeah. More cons. Uh, so yes, yeah, so... So you have big windows, so it's good for natural light, but because it's just the city and we're at the bottom floor, you see the street, the cars, buildings, mm -hmm. people walking by. So be careful how you angle yourself that way. Like very very surreal which is great for some animes and some mangas and some video games it needs a lot of after work huh? and even during your photo shoot you can add some colored lights to your flashes to add to the fantastical of this location mm -hmm. so you have to really think about what you want to do for this location there's AC so if you're wearing armors or oh, yes, fake it's costumes true. it's gonna yes, be this, comfortable this location is super easy to access from the Palais des Congrès it's literally in the palais it's not just it's not in the main area it's just a little off so it's very easy to access and it's fully air conditioned okay so let's move on to the next location yes moving on to the next location okay so this is the second location we have in the palais mm -hmm. the colored windows yeah, very popular for um, idol shoots mm -hmm. uh, or maybe something more colorful like Jojo, Jojo's Bizarre Adventure would work very well here. In terms of pros, the color. Yeah, it's very unique. <laughs> it's very unique. You have these multicolored windows and it's also inside. It's in the convention center. It's air conditioned. It's a walk up two-minute walk from the main area. I think that's pretty much it in terms of pros. Yeah. There's a few cons. <laughs> the <laughs> first it. cons is if you do it at the bottom floor, once again, like you have some cables on the way. It's a very tight spot. A lot of people just chill here because it's away from the convention. You don't have all the space you have at the second and third floor. So you're gonna feel cramped and you have to work your angles again. You're gonna see outside. You're gonna see people walking by. There's a restaurant right there. That's a lot of people there too. Everything upstairs is essentially closed down off convention. Yeah. And it's privately owned, so you can't really shoot there or even shoot here much off convention. If you're at the convention, it's the perfect time to do to really use those locations. So we can move on to the yeah, next location. Let's go to the next location. Some intervals. I think it's every 15 minutes. They're gonna be 
fog, smoke, and then fire. So if you time your shoots, you can get all of that here, which is very unique and very cool for specific photo shoots where you need like fire for, let's say, a sorcerer, a wizard, or, like something magical. Yeah. You can come here. If you're a local photographer or a local cosplayer, it's a very uh, overused location. Like because it's so unique and it's so cool and it's so like there's it's such a spectacle. Uh, a lot of people use it. So in the Montreal area, um, it's not that unique anymore, but if you're from out of town, like, uh, just go ahead, grab a few shots. It's, oh, yeah. it's totally worth it. It can get really hot, but since it is right beside the con, you can literally come out, shoot, and go right back in. So there's not a lot of walking involved. Um, so you can suffer for a few minutes, get a few cool pics, and go right back in and feel good. Also, as a bonus, you do get that nice little forest area that's just beside the fountain. Again, right by the con, and there's a lot less smokers here than there are uh, on the other side. So I think yeah. it's more worth it to shoot here than uh, in the main area where there's all the smokers and it is really overcrowded. In the little park right next to the fountain, it also fogs up, so they're gonna shoot a bit of smoke in the trees. So if you want to like a little forest, magical foggy forest type, it's perfect there. Pretty cool location. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Yes. All right, let's go. Guys. This location is a bit out of the way. A little bit. I'm not gonna lie, I had never been here. So this is actually my first time seeing this location and it's pretty dope and I'm surprised yeah. I didn't I didn't know about it. So if you're looking for more trees, forest, rocks, you come here. Pros, we have, uh, it's usually pretty quiet. So a lot less crowded than those other areas right by the convention center. The church, so if you just go up the stairs a bit and work your angle, you, like you lower your camera, get the big church in the background so that works fine for cons i would say it's outside it's outside once again yeah. so if it rains you're pretty much screwed uh, if it's too hot well get ready to suffer because yeah. it's a little fur further away from the con maybe a five to five minutes i'd say tops. ten minutes if you're in big, big armor big armor yeah it'll take at least ten minutes yeah, pretty. it's a pretty cool it's a pretty cool location yeah. very foresty in the middle of the city so yeah. we, we got we got everything at this convention center, it's great. I love it. So we'll show you some pictures so you can see what you can do with this location. And yeah. Yeah. First things first, I would like to apologize if there's a lot of background noise. This area is riddled with tourists and people and oh, yeah. cars so and horses and horses there's a lot of freaking people here like a lot yeah. of people it's because we have one of the biggest churches in montreal so yeah a so lot of people come for that and it's um the, the church is right in the old port which is one of the biggest tourist area in montreal so in a sense we're fortunate that it's this close to the convention center because the old port is absolutely gorgeous like everything like old stones like old architecture it's all here and if you keep going a bit further you get courageous and you go a bit further you you get some nice like water because it's it is old port but if you go to the old port you have to be careful not to bring a lot of lights because if they see you doing professional photo shoots they will kick you out you're not yeah. allowed to shoot there unless you pay for the rights and it's very expensive yeah very very expensive so for instance a lot of people shoot weddings in the old port the people who do and with all the professional equipment have paid for the well they, they paid for the, the right to shoot for the right to shoot so in this spot you have the church obviously you also have the bank of montreal with some nice big columns which are very popular too there's a little alley next to the church that's very pretty because it has a uh, rock walls and the bricks are old. And Just go out there with your photographer, get lost for an hour, and you'll find so many great locations. Oh, yeah. But those are the closest ones to the convention center, the most accessible ones. Uh, if you can manage to grab a few shots amongst the tourists that are riddled all over the place. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Eric knows, like, has like his own little secret spot, like that's right beside that. 
not used as much, but it's pretty unique looking. So we're gonna go there right now and show you what it looks like. Here's another spot that other people don't use, but I really like. It's at the Molson's Bank. I love it because you have some beautiful columns, beautiful stairs. This wall is pretty unique. You have a nice clock, nice lanterns. Like, it, it looks beautiful. So, and it's a bit out of the way. It's not in the main area, so not a lot of cosplayers are here. So it's actually not too far away from the church. The church yes. is just over there. Exactly. And uh, the Centre des Commerces uh, is right down here. So it's right in between. Um, if ever you have some extra time or you want something a little more, uh, I guess, uh, different. different in terms of the column, the styles of the columns, it's a good spot. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so All welcome right. to the most popular spot. Honestly, yeah, and also like in my opinion, one of the most gorgeous ones. And it has, in my opinion, again, little to no cons. Yeah. <laughs> it is entirely inside, so you're not susceptible to weather, heat. It is air conditioned. It looks like it's outside, which yeah. is amazing. And you have so much variety in which you can locate yourself. Yeah. It's uh, really great. Great for sexy shoots, uh, great for classic looking shoots. Uh, if you're looking yeah, for an outside but inside cityscape, yeah. it's, it's a nice little alleyway kind of feel. It's good for groups because there's a lot of space. Lots of space. And, then, yeah. and even though it is very popular, to me it never feels like it gets overcrowded no. at all. So it's because there's just so many places to go to. So it's yes. not like everybody's cramped around these one windows or this one statue or this one fountain. Oh, no. Because um, you have this, this fountain so here, you got one in the back, some nice stairs, mm -hmm. a bunch of cool locations all within these walls, mm -hmm. some nice so lanterns. Like, very pretty. Yeah. If we're unlucky, there's a lot of like engagement photo shoots, wedding photo yes, shoots here. So yeah. if it happens on the same day as Comic Con, then it's tricky. Because most people will rent this space, so if they're here, you can't kick them out, you right? You can't kick them out. I've never been kicked out. They're usually very, especially during the Comic-Con, yeah. they let you shoot anywhere except one building, which I won't show you because we're not allowed to shoot, but it's essentially right behind my cameraman. Yes. Uh, right, right in front the... of this fountain, there's a little green door, and this whole area is privately owned by yeah. a business, and they don't want you shooting there. They will tell you to Ooh. Yes. if you shoot there. It's happened to me because I didn't know happened to him yeah. so we just don't even try anymore so I would say don't even try there's also a bunch of like little stores uh, like restaurants where you can eat here so if you're done shooting and you feel like a coffee there's coffee it's a great ice cream place yeah. so yeah it's my favorite place and personally it's my favorite location the most comfortable one with the biggest variety mm -hmm. and it's accessible through the tunnels which are at the far end over there. Yeah. So there's no need to go outside exactly. so in the wind yeah, if it's or in raining, the rain. You can just go from underground. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. And it's not too far. It's uh, five. Yeah, five minutes. Five minutes, ten if you're wearing armor. <laughs> it's always ten if you're wearing armor. But yeah, very close, very accessible, and very nice. What's cool about this, these tunnels is a lot of different kinds of walls. They have white walls, mm -hmm. dark ones, some glass walls yeah, over there. The lights. Super cool for a costume like this one. Very sci-fi looking. Exactly. For sci-fi, I would say the tunnels are probably the best. And yeah, the long tunnel too, so you can work with that as well. It's just, it's the best place for sci-fi. And another tunnel towards the back, 
once you cross the door straight to the white wall of tunnels, you're not allowed to shoot there and there's cameras, so they're gonna come and kick you out. Yeah. They won't make you delete the pictures, but they'll kick you out. So if you're quick, you can take a few and then just run away. Don't do it if you don't wanna be a kick out. Alright everybody, so thank you guys so much for joining us on that small little adventure today. I hope it was useful if you're new to Montreal and to the concept conventions that we offer. Uh, I hope this is helpful that you'll know where to shoot. If ever you have some questions, like additional questions or I am cosplays that you're not sure where to shoot, uh, feel free to ask them in the comment section below. Otherwise, you know, same jam as usual, like, comment, subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you in our next video, right? Part two, woohoo! Bye guys.